Once upon a time, there was a king who ruled a land in the far north of Jena. The king had a kind heart and his people loved him. The king would seek advice in every matter that required his attention from his council of chiefs. Despite his age and position, with the advice he received, he was able to rule his people peacefully for many years. And then, one day, the king fell sick, and his heir apparent, his eldest son, Laddie, was told to perform some ritual before the second cock crow to save his father's life. The young man agreed. But before sunset, he went to his concubine's house in the next village and slept till the following morning. Having parted all night, he could not perform the royal rituals. Upon his return, he met people crying in front of the palace. The elders were not happy about what Ladi had done, and as a result, the elders decided to suspend his coronation and asked him to pay a fine before his father could be buried. Ladi paid the fine, and his father was buried. As the heir apparent, he took over his father's throne, pending when the council of chiefs would crown him. Ladi began to rule as the new king, but refused to take advice from the council of chiefs. Even when the elders deliberately advised him, he would not take their advice. He was very much unlike his father. He did what was right in his own eyes and not what would benefit his people. One day, the council of chiefs decided to crown him as a result of the pressure and threats he put on them through the palace guard. This made the entire people of Jena kingdom to be very curious and surprised. The elders and people were gathered at the market square, which was the usual venue for the final celebration of past king. The chiefs and the family in charge of the coronation went to the palace to dress the king for the coronation. During this period, the king was not expected to take breakfast, but for dinner after the coronation was won by the chief. But King Gladi insisted that he must eat the delicious red watermelon prepared by his wife. All attempts by the chiefs, elders, wives, and friends advising him against eating the fruit did not succeed. Eventually, he ate the fruit and a part of it dropped on his trouser. But King Gladi didn't know. Neither did anybody tell him because he had not taken to their previous advice. After the king was crowned and it was time for him to dance with his families, chiefs, elders and friends who had accompanied him to the market square for the final celebration. Hmm. Unknown to the king, the stain of red melon was still very conspicuous on his trouser. As the dance progressed, the drummer saw the red stain on the king's trouser. He immediately knew that the king ate something before coming for the coronation. He translated it through his talking drum. Thus, the king who does not listen to advice, the king who does not listen to advice, there is stain of red melon on your trouser. The king who does not listen to advice, the king immediately 
looked at his trouser and the red melon stain made him very embarrassed, which made him angry. Then after the celebration, the king summoned all the chiefs, elders, his wives and friends. He asked them why they didn't tell him that there was fragments of red melon on his trouser. They all responded with one voice, O king, live long. We didn't tell you because you have never listened to any of our advice or suggestion and we were all so scared for our lives. At this point, the king realized he had been too difficult and unapproachable to his people. He promised to take corrections, suggestions, and advice in the future. The end. Morals of the story. So I will say one and then you will say the others. So I learned that as a leader or if you are in a position of authority over others, we shouldn't be too difficult and unapproachable. We should be very accessible, open to corrections, open to suggestions, and open to advice. This will enable us not to find ourselves in an embarrassing situation, just like King Ladi. What did you learn? Drop it on the comment section, okay? Thank you guys for staying tuned, listening to our stories. Kindly subscribe for more stories and tap on the bell to get notification each time new stories are uploaded. Do well to share the story, like it, and give it a thumbs up. See you guys in our next story. Bye-bye for now.